So this is the engine I'm going to be working on today. Um, the guy said that um, the cylinder wall, it was scratched up. So, you know, when this, once the cylinder walls are scratched up, you know, it's going to be leaking oil everywhere because the cylinder walls have a little, little grooves in them now for the oil to escape. You know, it's got to be smooth wall so the ring can keep the seal. Um, so I'm going to open that up and check that, but I'm going to take everything apart as I get into there so I can clean everything. So let's try it. It's going to be my first time working on this type of motor, although it's a Briggs & Stratton. It's a different model. So let's start, baby. So what I'm going to do here is look at that so oily. This is filled with oil. It's like wet. Look at my hands. It's so wet in here. And I see a few bolts in here. Now what I'm going to do is take off this little... I think this is the valve cover. where the valves are so this looks like all right you see where my finger is right under there there's a you see on the, the one on the top right under it there's the one there's like a little piece of cylinder metal like a little piece that is not supposed to be on the right side there's two right there you can see it's supposed to be on the other opposite side actually on the left side of it it's supposed to sit in the top of the spring not under the back side of it as you see right there that is basically why there is so much oil everywhere and why this was running weird. So what I'm gonna do now is take the cylinder head off. Push rod's coming out. All right, well, there's a rod in here. These are for the valves. There's one that pushes on the right side of the valve. There's also one in the engine. You just pull this out pushes on the left side of the valve. So when you bolt this back together, you gotta put it back in those valve holes. Now there's a port right there, and then there's another port right in there. So you gotta look in there. This gasket seems pretty, pretty, pretty good. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna remove this as carefully as I can. And then I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, so now we're gonna check the cylinder wall. I got a better view, so I'm just gonna clean up all this oil that's in here. Now I'm seeing the cylinder wall. Now what the guy told me when I bought this engine, this is the engine from the black lawnmower that I showed you guys, the Craftsman engine swap. He said that this engine didn't work. You know, he said the cylinder walls were scratched up. Um, I'm feeling the cylinder walls, they are not scratched up. So this is a very good engine. I believe what had happened was he might have taken the head off and didn't know how to put back the valves because the valves are a bit tricky if you don't know what you're doing. You see, as you can see in here, right in there, that's where the rods sit. So you want to put, or you can see the holes. There's two holes. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's one up here, all right? And there's one right down in there. And this is not my tool. This is basically, this is the item that fits in there. This is the, those are the rods. There's one right there. And then there's another one that I have. I'm just putting sand all in the engine. So, and then there's another one that I have you can see. And then that, and then this bolts down on it. But it's too much to look at right now because I've got a, a lot of things in my hands. It's much more easier when you see it in person. But I'm just gonna clean all this crap. Just giving up the final touches on this piston. 
didn't even bother to clean the surface of the head. So I'm gonna just do that right now. So all you basically wanna do, it's gotta be metal in here, it's where spark plug fits. Spark plug fits right in that hole on the other on the opposite side. Bare metal man, bare metal. You remember which side went with to which side. <laughs> You want to line up the gaskets, man. Put the gasket on the thing. And then I'm going to put my bolts in. So now we're going to try to bolt this on. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to install the... I don't know where my napkin went. So right here. I'm going to install this little rod right here. And I will show you how to do it. There goes one. If I'm able. sure that's in there and we do that's how you connect it make sure and I think I don't know if there's a way to gap this but I think you want it pretty fucking tight you know what I mean so so to tighten this thing back up, you want to loosen it. You loosen it, if you loosen it. The spring, if you loosen this, the spring comes out, expands. So to tighten it back down. You basically put it right on top. Now it's like, look at it, it doesn't move anymore like how it did before. but you don't want it too tight, remember. Remember, Simba. Yeah. It's a little bit too tight, the bottom one. So pay attention to that spring. I don't know if you can get in, I don't know if you can get in, but pay attention to that spring as I'm loosening it. You see it? I see it already. It's loosening and loosening. Here we are, we are set and tight. It's just good enough. As soon as it starts to get that tight rotation and it just stops on you, it just stops. That's all you want, that's all you need. Gotta make sure the gas gets on. There you go. to install these caps back on but I'm gonna need, I need to clean these right now this can do without the air filter since it's so oily and soupy so it's garbage now so I'm just gonna clean this up and just bolt it back together remember I'm not putting the air the oiled air filter back on so this will do just fine now I want to show you something in here see this stick right here that metal rod these two metal rods there's no gap in between that and the flywheel so I don't like that I like normally when I don't when I don't see gaps I normally put a gap there so that's just what I'm gonna do right now just gonna 
loosen it up just a little bit. Now, see that? Now I'm gonna put my gap in there. So you just basically find something. I'm just gonna use this. You see I just folded it. It was already felled, foldable. So I'm just gonna put this right in between. I guess I'll fold it again. Right in between here. Press up against it. You don't wanna to press too hard, but just enough to where it's touching it. And then tighten it down. And now we have a perfect gap we have we now have a perfect gap so that's good I'm just gonna install a valve cover or the, uh, the mount back on I don't think there's any need to take this off ever again now that it is all clean so now there shouldn't be any reason why this engine does, wouldn't start. Um, I cleaned everything, basically, what you just saw. I set the valves back together. The cylinder wall has um, no cracks in it or anything. There's supposed to be another Uh, thing holding this down so hopefully it doesn't affect it but I definitely do need that other bolt especially these two bolts but I don't have it so I hope it doesn't affect it um, here's the spark plug so you can see it's corroded nothing a simple cleaning would do really don't need to get a new one not just yet see how black it was you guys remember how black it was right Oh, uh, look how shiny it is now. I mean, it looks brand new. It's like as if I bought it from the store. So, I wouldn't, all I gotta do is just pour some oil in here. I don't see why this thing won't start. This need a lot more to bolt it down to. And everything will be all right. Check the oil level, see how the oil is. Well, it's not level, so hold on. Actually, it has the right amount of oil in it. Well, at least now it does. Um, this has a perfect amount of oil, so I don't need to add anything. Um, you can see the stain from the ground when I first changed the oil. I mean, when I first changed the engine, gave it a engine swap. So it obviously leaked a lot of oil out of there. So all I got to do is put some gas in it. I don't see why this thing won't start. So besides this oily air filter, this engine looks pretty good to me. I'm 100% confident that this thing will start.